when I was introduced to um, Wolfram Alpha this um, past spring, ever since then I've t taken it as like my personal tutor. Wherever I go, it goes. I've used Wolfram Alpha um, with like calculus, whether it was Calc 1, Calc 2, or Calc 3. Um, some of the computations in Calculus 3, like if you're doing it by hand or algebraically, can take like a long time and it's very tedious. But if you use Wolfram Alpha, like not only does it give you the answer quickly, but it also shows you the steps. To me that's crucial because like to get from A to C, you don't want to miss B. So some, a lot of students like when they're in class, well me personally, like if a, if a teacher does a, um, a problem and they might skip a step, you know, there's a tendency for a student to get lost. It's like, okay, where did that come from? But Wolfram Alpha shows you exactly step by step in the sequential order. Here's a problem that um, I was working on Wolfram Alpha earlier today. Um, in my numerical analysis class, we were trying to prove a theorem that utilized several trigonometric identities. We wanted to verify that the identities were true. So, one of the, the actual problem was tangent x, um, cosine x, and we wanted to verify that this was in fact equal to sine of x. And using Wolfram Alpha, it shows that this is indeed true. So it actually verifies the proof of a trigonometric function. Here's another example of a problem that I use Wolfram Alpha to um, assist the student with um, in, in the tutoring. It was actually from a cal calculus 2 class, and they had to integrate the following problem. So I show them how you can go and type in the word integrate. Then you just put in the function. The function was actually t cubed. And it was kind of funny because the student was like, oh, okay, well, how can I put in t cubed? I said, well, you can just type in t cubed. And they didn't believe that it would actually recognize what they were asking. So they typed in t cubed plus t squared. And this quantity was divided by t and wanted to let it simplify this expression and again go from alpha comes to the rescue again gives you the answer as well as the graphs and it doesn't skip a step it shows you everything you need war from alpha is actually like is is there to give you that that sense of security like okay yes i did it right war from alpha is definitely a powerful tool for any and everything that anyone can actually dream of doing if you're having trouble in your classes, like if you don't understand a teacher or you just need like that extra little help, Wolfram Alpha is like a fantastic service. It's free of charge. You can type in whatever you need. It's not only good for mathematics, it's good for chemistry, biology, a whole range of subjects. I think of it as like a personal tutor anytime, any place, anywhere. It's almost to me an up like an upgraded calculator. So if you know your calculator can do it and you can do it, Wolfram Alpha. So yes, it's a great resource. I'm a sophomore mathematics education major, a president of the Math and Computer Science Club, and a math tutor. I use the book from Alpha for my differential equation class. Here's an example I'm gonna use um, Alpha 4. It's a differential equation, a first order linear equation. It's y prime plus two x space y equals two. And I'm gonna give y of zero a value, set that equals to two. And let's see what it gives me. And here right now it classified. It told us that it's a first order linear ordinary differential equation. And it gave us the solution. And also it gave a graph of it. And it helps because it doesn't just give you what you ask for. It gives you more. And if I didn't know the name of what the equation was, it also told me that as well. So it's very helpful. I just like how you don't have to actually put, if you want to say x squared, you can just spell it. And gave us, it gave us the graph and it gave us the values of x. And I just put x squared. It's easy to use. There's no codes command you have to use. You can use numbers, words to get what you, your answer you need. And also it's free and it's, everyone can use it. You can use what from Alpha is mathematics, physics, biology, different subjects. So it can help them in their classes. Um, most definitely, I would introduce my students with my alpha, like um, I do in tutoring lab. If I'm not there or if no one's around that can help you, just go ahead, search something, learn, learn about it. So yeah, I would use with my alpha in the classroom. 
I'm a physics student and I do physics education research here at Chicago State. I like how Wolfram Alpha expands, not just with the math, but the sciences and all kinds of science. And it shows that how everything is related. Part of my research is to try to bring things back together, to try to see how we could correlate things the way that they were in the beginning. And so I can just basically type in whatever I'm looking for and it's there, as opposed to reading a physics book or trying to get the question out of somebody that I'm, I'm interviewing. You can use the steps on Wolfram Alpha as a, uh, as a guide. I know a lot of chemistry majors and a lot of biology majors, even um, some econ and so on and so forth. We just play around with it and the things that we find out and the things that we use, we, we, we now use it for, it's like, you know, to plug, plug this in. And they do it, oh, oh my God, it gives me the answer. And then it says, show steps. And they go, oh my God, you know, where did you learn this from? I think this is the best thing because I've learned so much that can help me throughout my, um, my career and the rest of my life.